G'day guys, how are you? Now on this little clip I'm going to show you how to rig up for jewfish and whiting and brim. My personal rig, rigging technique that I always use and I've always been successful. Now first things first, you spool your reel with four kilo line. Now for some of you that might be funny, but really it's not funny. It's a reality. The reason why I'm using a uh, low weight or low strength line is because it makes the bait appear a lot more naturally in the water. So, once you've got your reel filled up with line, I'll show you how to rig up. Now it's very, very plain and simple. You grab at least let's just say I don't know 40 centimeters of line and that's your trace you get a normal swivel this size you can see it hopefully you can All right it doesn't have to be too big it doesn't have to be way too small just the middle size one and you slot that through until the line until it goes like this and all you do is you just twist it not too much just enough and this line goes through this little hole as so This is the strongest method I ever fished with. Now, the knot will not snap, it's the line that will snap. So this is a very strong knot, even if you've got heavy line too. And uh, clip it off, clip the excess line off. And uh, what a lot of fishers tend to ignore is this. These little tiny red beads these little tiny red things now the reason why I put this is because it attracts and lures the fish close to your bait in this murky muddy water after heavy rain and these things work a treat they're good for fresh water and salt water fishing you slot it through like that if you can see it then you get your size 2 bait keeper hooks, not bait holder, bait keeper hooks. And they're very, very good for worms because tube worms and your beach worms are really soft baits. And these bait keeper hooks, size 2, will hold the bait and will catch the fish of all sizes. The same thing I'm going to do is the hook with the swivel. Line goes through the loop, twist four, five, six times, whatever your fancy is. Get this line, slot it through, and there you have it. Clip off the excess line off, and here is your perfect rig right there your worm goes here that's your trace pretty long trace shouldn't be too long but it shouldn't be too short just right that way the slightest of bites can be detected and I've got a bite as I'm speaking right now
just to come to show how successful my rigging technique is I've just took myself a really small jewfish as you can see here and see these two red beads that's what I've been showing you on the past few seconds and he's hooked himself really good with this bait keeper hook they're really good fun to catch and fortunately as the fish has swallowed the hook all you do just clip the line the hook will rust let him back there's the fish Jewish. Jewish is smaller, yeah?